All right, time for another movie. This one's going to be at the Ragtag Cinema. Yeah, and the movie is called uh, The Return to Soul Taco. <laughs> that is a joke, because there's a restaurant across the street called Soul Taco. But no, the movie is called Return to Soul. I don't think I saw a trailer for this one, but um, when I get back out to the car, I'll tell you what I thought. Yeah. I go to the movies. Who would have thought? So, here's my opinions. My opinions don't matter. Your opinions don't matter. What? We just put our opinions on the internet. It's what we do. As a culture. No one knows why we do it, but we can't seem to stop. So, for what it's worth, I'm THE Joshua Lukoku, and these are mine. All right, Return to Soul. Yeah, so uh, I'm, it's a good movie. It is a good movie. It's got a, you know, heartfelt story. You know, it's, it pulls at your heartstrings and makes you think about things, that sort of stuff. But the movie is pretty slow. It's pretty slow, and it's not a comedy. There's, there's a few things that happen, you know, that can make you, make you laugh sort of thing, but... So I didn't see a trailer for this movie. I didn't see the poster. So I knew there was a girl and the title is called Return to Seoul. So I figured, I bet this girl's going to Seoul, which is in South Korea. So the what, what is going on here is this girl that I mentioned before. She, uh, uh, she was adopted by some people in France. And, uh, you know, she ends up back in South Korea on like a little trip and she's going to try to find her birth parents, that sort of thing. So, uh, she basically speaks French. She doesn't start out knowing really any South Korean or any Korean. I'm not sure if North Korea and South Korea have different languages. I'm sure, you know, there's been changes. They've split apart, you know. It's been many years. But it's probably still basically the same way. Probably just, you know, dialects and, you know, you know, uh, local vernacular differences. But anyway, <laughs> back to the movie reviews. So, uh, <laughs> so yes. So she's going to try to find her birth parents. She's, she knows, she, there's a girl there that knows French, you know, so, you know, she kind of befriends this person and. You know, she has, that girl has, like, a boyfriend. So, she's the girl from France. She's trying to teach the, the local South Koreans how, you know, to loosen up a little bit. Because I guess it's a little, it's a little, the culture is a little, you know, like, you know. At least, you know, <laughs> the people she was hanging out with. So, and she goes to the, to the adoption agency. And, you know, there's the whole, like, well, you know, we can't tell you where they are, but, you know, we can send them, like, a telegram, and if they respond, then, you know, you guys can meet up, that sort of thing. So I'm not going to give up any more as far as that goes. But, uh, yeah, so it's kind of, it's interesting because she's, she's like a complex character. It's like she wants to know, she doesn't want to know. She wants to be loved by these people, but she's mad at them for putting her up for adoption. She loves her family back in, in France, but, you know, she doesn't relate to them. You know, that sort of thing. You know, it's, it's all the stuff you'd kind of expect from that sort of situation. It's understandable, you know. So, and, you know, there's the culture shock thing, because she's pretty much westernized. France is considered western, right? <laughs> but, uh... You know, and so she doesn't get the cultural things that are going on over there. And so the people over there, they kind of just think she's extremely rude because they don't even see her as, like, a tourist because she looks just like them. <laughs> that sort of thing. But, yeah, so, you know, all that sort of stuff is interesting. I would say this movie does take, like, jumps in time out of nowhere. I wasn't expecting it. And I was kind of like, and then this, is, this is two years later. It's like, what? <laughs> out of nowhere. So then, uh, that's like five years later, like, whoa, what's going on? So there's all these different things going on. And 
it shows different, you know, different stages of her life, you know, and the progression of relationships, that sort of thing. So, but yeah, so but anyway, you know, I don't know. I mean, the movie was well acted, you know, it was well shot. There's some pretty interesting, like, there's some cool cinematography. There's, there's like, basically she, she ends up going to like some cool places sort of thing. There's like this, this bar that has a DJ and he's got this giant wall of vinyl records and everything and on the little DJ stage and it's like, oh, this looks awesome. All that sort of thing. And then, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, uh, I don't know, maybe this one will be up for some awards. It it was, it was a movie that was, you know, it was good, and it took itself seriously, and it had a, it had a good story. Oh, that's my cue. Anyway, I was going to be done talking about this anyway, so. Uh, Return to Soul, it was pretty good. Those are my first thoughts and opinions after seeing Return to Soul. Yeah. So I'm throwing them up on the thoughts and opinions panel. They'll soon be buried by everybody else's, obviously. And you can tell me your thoughts and opinions. What? You can put them down in the comments section. There's a section just for it, if you can even believe it. And you can like and subscribe and, you know, uh, ring notification bells, all those fun activities. And uh, don't forget to feed your cat, obviously. And if you ever go to Seoul, make sure that you, uh, you know, pour someone else's drink. Don't pour your own drink. That's rude.